Hello everyone, this is Sam Stulinga. Today I'm going to present to you Redis TOS Origination 3D Sidecar. I am a customer engineer at Google Cloud and what it means is I get to help customers with a lot of their fun use cases about Istio and today is one of those use cases uh, that I will be presenting. Um, it's based on a blog post as well if you do want to read and, and replicate it yourself it's quite easy by going to the blog post that I wrote before. Um, the, today's session will be structured in three sections. Number one is what is the problem that we're trying to solve with this? How can how are we solving it? And then I will do a quick demo um, of this and so you get a sense of how it works and what are the benefits of it. So what is the issue that we're solving? Let's take a look at an example application that uh, we have on this architecture diagram. We have an application that has multiple microservices and each of these microservices talk to Redis. This external Redis, however, only accepts TOS. So each microservice um, needs to set up the TOS settings, like configure the cert, and that's all part of, just that will then be part of your container image or you, you somehow plug it up, plug it in through a secret, and that can be a bit tedious to configure all of that. So that's problem number one. The second problem is because it's all encrypted, Istio itself doesn't see the traffic that's going into Redis. Because you're doing the encryption directly in the application container itself, Istio has limited visibility into that traffic. So that's where Istio TOS origination comes in. Istio TOS origination is a way to um, have unencrypted traffic go out of the application container to Redis and then Istio transparently takes care of encrypting that traffic so that it becomes TOS traffic which the external Redis accepts. Um, going a bit deeper, if you look at the architecture diagram you can see the container would be talking in plain unencrypted TCP to the uh, external Redis but then the Istio proxy intercepts the traffic and notice that it's destined to the external Redis and then encrypts that traffic so that it's actually TOS going to the Redis, even though the app thinks it's talking in plain TCP. So Istio takes care of that transparently um, and then what you get out of that is the application no longer needs to configure these certs. And then the traffic becomes more visible as well. And more visible, I mean, it's a, a very vague term, so let me, let me make it a bit more concrete. This is how traffic looks like through Kiali before TOS origination is set up. And it's unclear where the traffic is going. Um, there's no metrics that are specific to the Redis external service, so you, you like you have you have zero visibility. And um, now, why do I say more visibility? This is how traffic looks like after TOS origination. So now, at least in the graph, you can see that there's an external Ivan Redis. Um, I'm using Ivan in this case, but it could be any. You could call it external Redis. And the on the left side, you see that we now have some metrics. So we see TCP sent and TCP received specifically to the Redis um, endpoint that we're talking to. So how do you set this up? There's two main steps. Step number one is to create a service entry for the external service so that Istio knows about Redis. Because otherwise, because it's an external service, it's not Kubernetes doesn't know about it, Istio doesn't know about it, so that's why we specifically need to create a service entry for it. The second step is to create a destination route to really set up the TOS origination. And really the key part is you have traffic policy and a TOS mode simple and specifying the CA certificates. And specifying CA certificates is needed even if it's a trusted cert, because otherwise if you don't specify it, Istio by default will accept any cert even if it's not a trusted cert. Um, cool demo time. Uh, this is this is probably the most fun part of this uh, lightning talk. Is we're gonna deploy the Redis client with a sidecar. However, no service entry and no destination rule is set. And what we expect is that it should fail when trying to connect over plain TCP. Um, let's first try that, and then afterwards we're gonna create a destination rule and a service entry. And the expectation is that then immediately afterward we should be able to connect over Redis through an encrypted TOS. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so let's take a look at the environment that we have for this demo. 
We have a GKE cluster that's up and running and has STO 1.8 installed. Um, I already have a Redis client pod running that has the sidecar injected as well, which is this one. And really the only thing that it has is it's a, it's a image that has the Redis COI, so I can easily test the connectivity to the external Redis. So let's go get a shell to that um, pod. And what I expect to happen when I do, uh, I, I'm trying to connect over it, and the, yes, this is the password, but I promise you by the time this lightning talk is live, this password will no longer work. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just try and get a key that I have set previously on this Redis server, and I expect it to fail, but let's see. Um, yes, error server close connection. So as you can see, this, this Redis server is set up the right way. It's actually, um, not allowing any connection and it it will just close the connect it will just close it and say if I try to set hello uh, world or something like that it should also fail yeah okay perfect great so let's take a look at I've Kiali dashboard setup as well for this cluster let's take a look at what Kiali sees here I'm going to select my Redis namespace and then we can take a look and you see the graph, it, it doesn't show marks, it just shows this pass-through cluster because it doesn't actually see see anything. Um, same for here. It does show something, but it will show, it shows the metrics, but it doesn't show where this is going. So um, that's how it looks like right now, Keale, and this is also where you saw the screenshots from. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply the uh, destination rule for it. and I'm going to add the service entry. And I will show you in a moment that that's a, uh, what's inside those two files. It's basically the same file that I showed in the presentation, but I, I will open it in a moment. Let's first take a look at, uh, at the exec. And let's see if we run the same command as we did last time. Look, look there's no TOS. It's, it's just connecting over plain TCP to the external Redis. But this time, however, because we set up the service entry, I expect to be a result. There you go. It says get hello, and we got back the result world two. I'm going to show you that we can also set a new key. We're going to call it world three. And then when I get it, it just showed the updated result. So now we're talking to this external Redis over plain TCP um, according to the application part. However, the STO site proxy. Uh, the, 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 the STO sidecar, the, the proxy is encrypting the traffic for us transparently without the app having to care that it's being uh, transcribed or about search, etc. So let's let's go back and let's take a... Actually, let me generate some more data. That's probably more fun. Um, I am going to uh, do 500 requests. So we, we see a spike in traffic. And I'm just going to... It just sent a, sent a lot of traffic and it got a lot of traffic back. Um, and then we, we, we should see it spike as well in the, in the dashboard. Let's give it a moment. And what we'll see is, oh, it's, it's already popping up. You can see the rate of traffic to this external. And then when you, track, when you go to the graph, it will also show up here. And when you want to check the metrics, you can check here. And you see that, that it's now um, 1.2 kilobit per second and I bet you if I keep on refreshing it's going to be updated uh, slightly more. So yeah this was really to demonstrate uh, this was the main demonstration just wanted to show that after you configure it it immediately starts having effect and just for reference um, I will quickly show the service entry which was also shown in the slide where we really just say anything that's going to this host um, match, will match this service entry. And then the other part that we have is the destination rule is where we set um, anything that goes to this host, make sure, encrypt the traffic with TOS using simple TOS and use the system certs that are located in this directory inside the Istio proxy. All right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the demo and the presentation.